All right, Nate, thank you. Well, it is an election day, and people in mid-Michigan have only two more hours to make their voices heard before polls close tonight. Our McCoy Scribner is here for you now with a closer look at what's on the ballot and what turnout has been like today. McCoy? Yeah, Sherry and Siobhan, it's the middle of summer, and election officials say it's been a real struggle to get people to the polls, but turnout for these summer elections used to be even worse. Voters in Lansing are narrowing down the field of Ward 1 and at-large candidates in the race for city council, and in Jackson, they'll be doing the same thing in the race for a new mayor. School bonds are also on the ballot as districts look to make improvements. This includes Owasso Public Schools, Morris Area Schools, Reading Community Schools, Michigan Center, and Northwest Community Schools. In Ingham County Clerk Barb Byram says although these types of elections have less traction than others, they should still be high priority for the community. 9,000 absentee ballots have been returned. So that's about 68% of the absentee ballots that have been requested have already been turned in. Uh, turnout is uh, getting better because in Michigan we have afforded voters increased access to the ballot box, but it's still not where it should be. Every election is important. Arguably, the local elections are even more important. And once again, polls close tonight at 8 p.m. Byram tells me unofficial results will start to trickle in around 10 p.m. You'll want to check our website at WLNS.com and check back with us on the air at 11 for results. Back to you. All right. Thank you, McCoy.